everyone, welcome back to our channel. It's Bella here. In today's tutorial, I used the new You Had Me at Hello palette from ColourPop. So if you want to see how I achieved this look, then please keep on watching. So the first thing that I did was I applied some Makeup Forever Ultra HD concealer as a primer and I just put that all over my eyelid and then I went in with a damp beauty sponge to blend it out and then I set it with some translucent powder. I went in with my Smolder Cosmetics uh, Golden Glow Illuminator and I put that all over my brow bone. And then I went in with the ColourPop You Had Me At Hello eyeshadow palette and I honestly loved this palette. I didn't know what to expect but the shadows are super easy to blend so I highly recommend it. So the first shade that I went in with is called Moonstruck and I used my Morphe M412 brush to apply this to my crease as my transition shade going in back and forth motions. Next, I went in with the shade called Fool's Rush, which is this really pretty mauve color. And I used my Morphe R44 brush to apply that. And I went above my actual crease going in back and forth motions. And then I went back in with that fluffier Morphe brush and that first transition shade that we used to really blend out that line. Next, I went in to this darker shade called Pulling Strings, and I used my Anastasia 7B brush to apply this. And I just went over that line that we drew out previously, and then I'm going to go ahead and blend that line out once again. And this is how you get a really blended gradient look. And I went ahead and picked up that same uh, transition shade once again called Moonstruck just to really diffuse that line and then I went in with that concealer that we use to prime our eyelids the Makeup Forever Ultra HD concealer and then I went in with the shade Candy Gram which is this beautiful light shimmery white shade and this shade was honestly beautiful and it applied super creamy and pigmented and I just packed that all over my lid And then I went back in with that mauve shade and a more fluffy brush and I just slightly applied that on the outer corner fading inwards in tapping motions. I believe the brush I'm using is from Sigma and I just lightly diffused that shadow going inwards and then I went back in with that darker shade and I went in with a small defined brush from Dose of Colors and I just in really light tapping motions started to go inward but I did not take this brush too far in and then I went back in with the brush that we used previously with a little bit of the same product that's still on the brush I didn't apply more and I just blended that it out even more next I went in with this limited edition glitter from Violet Voss called Memories and I used my NYX glitter primer and I just put this on the center of my lid so not on the inner lid and not on the outer lid just on the center and then I went ahead and took my brush and kind of feathered it out just so it's not just a patch of glitter on the center and it's super blended. For liner, I use my Smashbox Always On Liquid Liner. And for lashes, I used Sophie Bella Jamaica Lashes. The link for these lashes will always be in the description box below. And I wanted to use like a really nude type of pencil and I couldn't find one so I just used my Benefit Highbrow. Um, and I just put that in my waterline and I love how it made my eyes look a little bit more open. And then I went in with the same shades that we used in our crease but on my lower lash line. I used that same mauve shade and then I used the first shadow that we used in our transition shade. And then I went in with some mascara and this is the finished look guys. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.